Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Darlings, I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willa Lane, and we are here at the Springs Food Pantry in this beautiful garden, and I am here with the chairperson, Holly Wheaton, and she's going to explain to us about this event and what it's really all about. Well, this event is to help raise money for the Springs Food Pantry. Um, we have been in existence since 92. Yeah, that's uh, like 30 years yeah, ago. My mom started it. Um, I understand it was the Springs uh, Presbyterian Church. That we, it started as a mission of the Springs Presbyterian Church. My mom, along with a few women in the congregation, looked around one day and said, wow, there's some fishermen and farmers, and they're not going to make it through the winter if we don't help them. Oh my God. So they went door to door, collected food, and, and gave it out. Where the, there's a little, like... Um, a town called Springs. It's part a community of within East Hampton Town. A hamlet. A hamlet. Yes, within East Hampton Town. Um, and I'm not sure if people know this, but East Hampton Town has the highest poverty rate in Suffolk County. And Springs community leads that force because they are, Springs res residents are the, they're the service people. They're the construction workers. They're the ones that trim the hedges south of the highway. They mow the lawns. Um, they're the they're your waiters at your favorite restaurant. They're the bussers, and they live in Springs because that's where the cheaping uh, the housing was the cheapest. So that's where they were. And, um, and here we're thinking that East Hampton is the richest right. town in the Hamptons with millions of dollars worth of homes, but yet there are so many people that are literally starving. Starving. Yes, they are. We serve just in this little hamlet of Springs. We're giving out over 200 to 200 families a week every Wednesday, which is just close. Well, it's about 998 people I had last Wednesday total. So it's it's a lot. It's a lot of people, and our food cost is about twenty thousand dollars a week. I can understand why you're having this gala. Absolutely, absolutely. What a sin! What a sin! It is. All these. All, and then um, you must. Are you getting like the aliens, the illegal aliens from uh, the border coming in too? Not necessarily, and we don't know because we, yeah. we, we're not going to ask free. them. You they just give food, freely. They come to us, right. we you give don't it want to them. people to no. starve. No, That's absolutely. the whole point of this. Absolutely. And there's, there's big success stories. I mean, it's, you know, we always hear about we're feeding the, the poor, and, you know, we've been doing it since 92. There are some people that we look around now and they're successful. You know, they've got their own construction company. They're taking care of their brothers and sisters. Um, but we did it. We helped them. We got them on their feet so that they could do this. I so. never heard of this. You know, I've been coming out to the Hamptons like uh, every year, but I've never heard about your event. Is this like the first time you're having a... This is a our first summer event. We usually do one in the fall, and that's a chowder chow down, we call it, where we get local chefs to contribute chowder to us, and we serve it as to go. 
Um, and then in January, end of January, we usually do a chili cook-off, same thing. Um, but this is our first summer event. Summer so. gala yeah. event. Yeah. And it's supposed to be, well, first of all, it's on such a beautiful property. Tell us about the property. The property was the former Lieber estate. Judith is, Lieber, yes. right? It is owned now by uh, Peter and Nicole Corbett, who bought the house and these grounds. Um, Nicole and Peter came to us when they saw all the lines at the food pantry. They came to us and they said, we have a big vegetable garden. Can we donate produce? Can we help you? And I said, absolutely. I brought them in. They dropped off their produce, which was lovely, by the way. And they looked at all the bags and everything we were packing and said, we want to help. We want to help. So they came and they volunteered and helped pack bags. And they invited me over to look at the grounds one day because I love gardens. Oh, it's beautiful and, uh, here. It's really beautiful. beautiful. There's a rose garden. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous. You have to. You have to I'm going to take a walk take around a walk. and it's take beautiful. a look. It's two acres of just beauty. Now tonight's event is a cocktail party yes. for two hours. Two hours. Cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. Was the food donated or was the cocktails? Some of some of the food was donated. Okay. Um, I didn't expect them to donate all of it. It's a lot. And uh, Woofer donated most of the wine. We have supplemented it. And Springs Brewery, who's the craft beer, they are they donated um, the beer. So, yeah. So I hope you have a good event tonight. Lots of donations. Thank you. I hope you do very well at the silent auction. And tell my audience where we could go to learn more information about this food pantry. You can go to our website, which is www.springsfoodpantry.com. The advent of COVID, our numbers just took off. It, it was insane. This area is a very expensive area. This time last year, we would have been feeding 90 families. Last week, we fed 226 families. We're feeding 10% of Springs. La rent is crazy. Pandemia que lo atravesamos, nos quedamos sin trabajo. I mean, we are not rich. En septiembre, él fue deportado. It's a lot of people without money. Springs residents live paycheck to paycheck. Run out of food. I was out of work for 10 months. It's the smiles, it's the thank you, the families that come and they're so appreciative. Thank you, bye. I bless them every week. Like it helps a lot. Cannot express my gratitude to this wonderful community that we live in. They saved me. So this has helped so much. Or you can like us on Facebook, Springs Food Pantry. Gorgeous. Let's air kiss. <laughs> and we'll be back with more interviews, darlings. Keep watching. Pink Champagne Kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. dressed to impress one of a kind girl I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls I love to mingle though my husband reminds me I'm not single I meet and greet both the famous and the elite I ride in limousines drinking the fine champagne wearing first dazzling diamond jewelry a girl can't complain I live in upscale life, dining in the finest restaurants, eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I eat cognac, ooh, ooh, I sip cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. This has been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.